Okay, this video is going to take care of two questions on transformations that involve several combinations. So I like these two questions because um, you'll often see these these are exam style, diploma style questions, especially the second one. Um, but it also, both of these questions just offer a really great review. So the first thing it says is the function y is equal to f of x, so a radical function. Um, has been transformed to this equation here. So before I even start, I always tell students to get in the habit of writing your equation. So y is equal to a f b of x minus h plus k. And then it's a really good habit as well to write underneath or above each letter which was the stretches, which was the translations, things like that. So your A value is your vertical stretch, your B value is your horizontal stretch, your H value is your horizontal translation, and your K value is your vertical translation. Remember that your B and your H parameters, they affect your X coordinates, and your A and your K parameters affect your Y coordinates. From there, let's look at the transformed equation and the first thing you want to do every time you get a transformed uh, function is you always want to make sure it's factored. So they on tests like to not factor it because it's a way that they'll get students. So the B value is what we always want to factor out and the B value has not been factored. So what you want to do is you want to divide in that bracket, get rid of that one half. If we do that, we're going to have y is equal to negative 3 square root, that one half is factored out, and then I will get x minus 8, close that bracket, and plus 5. The reason why that's so important is because now when I write my parameters below, so this is my vertical, my horizontal stretch, horizontal translation, and vertical translation, if you didn't factor, here's what you, you you'd pretty much get ha more than half of this question wrong, but um, you would have said that the negative, or sorry, the horizontal translation, you would have said is four units right when it's really eight units right. Okay, so it would have just gotten everything wrong. Okay, A says for the transform function, state the values of A, B, H, and K, so it wants the parameters. A is negative three, B is one half, H is not negative eight, it is eight, and our K parameter is five. B, state the transformations that have occurred in proper order. So what they want me to do is talk about the stretches first, the reflection second, and the translations last, using both replacement notation and proper vocabulary. So I'll show you how you would answer this for full marks. Um, stretches first, it doesn't matter whether you start with your A value or your B value. But I tend to go from left to right, so I tend to start with my A value, then my B value, then we're going to deal with this negative, because that's going to be a reflection, so maybe I'll write there's also a vertical reflection happening, and then we're going to do our translations last. So let's start with our stretch. So our A value is negative 3, but if I only want to deal with the stretch right now, because I'm going to deal with the reflection after, if I'm only dealing with the stretch, the replacement to get a 3 here is y is going to be replaced with one third y, right? That will be my replacement notation. And in words, you would write out vertical stretch. I'm fine for homework and for worksheets shorthanding. If it was a test, though, or a quiz or a diploma, you will fully write out vertical stretch. You will not be awarded marks if you don't state that. So vertical stretch by a factor of 3. So by a factor of 3. Then I'm going to deal with, because I'm on stretches, I'm going to deal with my B value. And that is going to be a replacement for X. So X is going to be replaced with 1 half X. That is a horizontal stretch by a factor of. Now, if our B value is 1 half, remember that the stretch factor is always going to be the reciprocal. For this guy, the stretch factor is the absolute value. Okay, so horizontal stretch by a factor of 2. This takes care 
of stretches. So we are done stretches. Let's look and write about the, do the replacement notation for our reflection. So the reflection that happened was the vertical reflection. So a vertical reflection, it affects Y. So what the replacement notation for a vertical reflection would be is Y is replaced with negative Y. Okay, and that is a vertical reflection in or about, you always have to, for reflections, tell me the axes, and it's the x-axis. Because remember, for a vertical reflection, that's an up-down, and you're cutting the x-axis. Now, when we combine this with this, right, when we combine these two, we are going to get negative 3 over here. And our B value, when we take our X out, put in 1 half X, that's where we would get this. Now we're done our reflection. So let's do our translations last. So translations, again, I always tend to do H first and K5. It does not matter as long as you do your translations last. So if H is 8, H is 8, that is a horizontal translation, 8 units, right? So 8 units, right? And the replacement uh, for this translation is going to be X is replaced with, okay, if we want to go to 8 units right, the replacement would be X minus 8 because we need our H value to be 8. The last translation was a vertical translation 5 units up. And that replacement is Y is replaced with, so remember, um, we want the 5 the 5 is originally on the left-hand side, so we're replacing y with y minus 5. Okay, what would mapping notation be? So the mapping notation, x, y is your original. The image is x over b plus h, a times y plus k. So if I use my letters, x over b, now if I go up to b, b is 1 half. So x divided by 1 half is the same thing as 2x plus h, h was 8, a times y, a was negative 3 times y plus k is 5. So that's going to be our mapping. If the point 2, 1 is on the original function, what does that point become on the new function? So what's the image point of this after it undergoes the transformations? So that's our x and that's our y. We're going to plug in the x there and the y here. So 2 times 2 plus 8. Um, 2 times 2 plus 8, comma. That's your new x coordinate, which is going to be um, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 8. It's going to be 12. And your new y coordinate is negative 3 times 1 plus 5. Um, that is going to be negative 3 plus 5 is 2. So that is your image point after the original point undergoes those transformations. Okay, this is again a really good diploma question, exam question, and I like this one. I consider this one a little bit more difficult because it has fractions and students sometimes worry about fractions. So this is a good one to practice together. Okay, this is the original function. y is equal to 1 over x plus 3. It undergoes a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. So I'm going to underline that. And I'm going to say, okay, a vertical stretch is my a value. a value is the same as the stretch factor. So the a value is going to be 2. Then it says reflection in the y-axis. So a reflection in the y-axis I'm going to write down is a horizontal reflection, right? That's a reflection in the y-axis. X goes to negative X. So I've got that written down. And then the last thing that's going to happen is we're going to do a horizontal translation five units right. So H is going to be equal to five. Okay, what this question we're doing is we're taking this original equation we're going to undergo these transformations, and then they want the new equation.
is what this this question is asking about so we're going to do replacement notation to do this that's the way you'll get this question right and with replacement notation stretches first reflection second and translations last so doing stretches first we're going to deal with this a value okay so my original equation is this but the replacement notation with that a value it's going to be y is replaced with one half y so what i always do is i always write the original equation first so one over x plus three then we're going to take the y out and we're going to do a replacement so one half y is equal to one over x plus three now we need to isolate y by itself so you need to get rid of this one half what you're going to multiply this by to get rid of one half is a two two times a half cancels and if i multiply the left hand side by two i multiply the right hand side by two what this becomes is y is equal to two times one is two all over x plus three Okay, so this was my original, and now we're going to undergo a vertical stretch by a factor of 2, and this now is what my new equation is. Okay, we did our vertical stretch. We're done that. Let's do our reflection next. So the reflection was a horizontal reflection. That means that x is replaced with negative x. So x is replaced with negative x. That's going to take care of my horizontal reflection. So write where we are in our equation. So y is equal to 2 over x plus 3. And this x is going to come out and a negative x is going to go in. Is y is equal to 2 over negative x plus 3. Now I've taken care of my stretch and my reflection. So my reflection is done. I have to do my translation last. My translation is my H value. They want this to go five units right. So that replacement is an X replacement. If they want it to go five units right, X is replaced with X minus five. Okay, five units right goes to X minus five. So take your original, or sorry, not our original equation, um, where we are in our equations after the two transformations. So negative 2 over negative x plus 3. And this comes out, and this goes in. Now, because what I'm substituting in is more than one term, I'm going to put this x minus 5 in a bracket, okay? So what I would get is y is equal to, I'm just trying to think, why did I put a negative 2 down here? I'm looking at that, and I'm like, where did that come from? That should be 2. Okay, so y is equal to 2 over negative. That x comes out, and x minus 5 goes in, and then I have a plus 3. What this becomes is y is equal to 2 over. Um, so this, we're, we're done here, but you wouldn't box this in and submit this because we could clean up the denominator. So let's distribute in this negative 1 to get negative x plus 5. And then we've got that negative 3 at the end. And then we could combine our like terms. So 5 minus 3 is 2. So our final equation after those three transformations is y is equal to 2 over negative x. I made a mistake. This is a plus 3. So 5 plus 3 is 8. And that is your new transformed, the equation of your new transformed function. The only way you guys would get this is by going step by step by step using your replacement notation.